All right, everybody, the big reveal is here. The bike project is done. You ready? Woo! <laughs> what do you think of that? Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Spencer. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of the bike uh, intro there that we, uh, we've been working on that for the past couple weeks. It's just a side project. You've seen it a few times, but it's done and the little girl's loving it. But today is the day we've all been waiting for. It is time to put the cab back on the frame. We even got the old, the old cab out of the garage. We have not pulled the interior out of it yet. That's something we're going to do. And we cleaned up the garage so that we can slide this in next to it once the cab's on and just switch the interior stuff directly over. We got brand new carpet. Uh, we even got, over here, there's Lance. Um, we even got the cow hood over there delivered, but we're not gonna take it out of the box because we don't want it to get messed up while uh, we're waiting for it to go to body, the body shop. And here's all of our powder coated parts you saw last video, and we cleaned out a pretty nice space here. We still got this pile of parts from the donor truck and a few from this truck, but, uh, but we're gonna sit that uh, cab in here a little later on. And uh, right now, I think we're going to go out and we're going to try to uh, lay this cab down kind of the normal direction and then lift it back up and put it on the frame. All right, so we're going to let this guy down onto the ground for our final time, hopefully, and then we'll pick it up the normal way and uh, pull the frame out of the garage, put it on. Cool, you just scratch that out now. No, sir. Well, the handle got into it, but you probably didn't scratch. All right, then we got it down here. We're gonna have to probably lift up maybe a little bit on the back here to get the stuff to slide under, because um, obviously the legs of this have to go underneath of the cab. Same thing sort of with the engine hoist on the other side. We'll have to sit the bed down so we're not, so we got the space to get it in there. Let's put them in every, the, every which direction. I think it'll stay all right. Yep. This guy might need some WD. I don't know if that's the professional use of the lift right there, but there you go, you're good. you guys here what we're dealing with here sorry for some background noise there uh we put some stuff in the fire and it's uh it's taken off yep there it goes uh-huh yep all right we're gonna have to get the hose for that probably should be all right all right back to work so i think the goal here is we're actually going to get the engine crane we're going to uh hook it up to the back of this and swing this around because we don't have any way to really to steer it right now i mean we can just push the wheels but they don't turn super easy. All right, ready? Feels awesome. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. Yeah, they were pretty much good. And one, two, three. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. 
I'll tell you what, but I think we're okay there. Yeah, I think we can turn. Now. You let it can... down. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. We can turn and keep pushing with the front wheels. Yep. All right, let's go. All right, we're trying something a little different here because, well, we didn't <laughs> we didn't put enough blocks under this side to get the uh, lift under, but I think this will work. We uh, just hooked around there and should hook under the end of that hinge and pick up. But we might the only issue would be maybe height, but we're gonna take off the rear wheels um, and uh, then hopefully it won't have to be quite as quite as high to go under here. All right, we're up in the air. I think it should be all right. If yours is a little bit more towards the front, which it is, should be all right. You want me to move mine a little more towards the front? No, I think you're all right. Yeah. makes a factor if we drop it yeah. but at this point i don't think it's bigger wheels <laughs> like no it, i don't think so either. it does seem like we can easily clear everything he grabbed the uh, broom because every time we've done this we've run into just little pebbles in the driveway that make the jack stop and then the thing falls off so we are going to leave the wheels on unlike what i said before just because we're up so high that they're not going to be an issue and uh yeah then we just got to do some pushing here and he's standing sort of under that cab so that's scary uh, people are going to get angry about that. No, no, it's safe. This is OSHA. This is in their safety this video. Is how they do it? Uh, yeah. There's an example in the safety manual of this, I promise. <laughs> All right, one, two, and three. All right. One, let's just do one more little push. Yeah. Just so I can get on the ground. Huh? Yep. One, two, three. All right, that should be good. So, just as a word of warning, don't do what we did. Don't go under, like, seriously, don't go under the cab um, if you're ever pulling a cab off, if it's not supported by something better than what we have here. Um, not the smart way to do it. it. I realize it's how we did it, but don't. It's stupid. Interestingly enough, I uh, was going to put this plate, this heat shield, up where that one is right there because I thought they were the same because I assumed the cabs were 100% the same but they're not uh, this one came off of the original truck that cab over there and you can see where these two bottom bolts are and where they are on this one so they were different I had to use the old one which was in pretty rough shape so I gave it a nice little coat of paint there just to look a little bit better and uh, just gonna adjust this guy around a little bit and we're gonna be ready to go down all right, Lance had to go take a call, do some stuff, so I'm kind of stuck on my own here, but I don't really have anything else to do other than take it down, so that's what I'm gonna to try to do. Uh, wish me luck. All right, put the other side down a little bit. This is uphill, just, I'm, I guarantee I'm super strong, but this is, you know, uphill. I work out all the time. Oh, lost a lot of progress there. All right, we got all of our motor, well, motor, huh. We were just working on making sure that all of our bolts, because we hadn't actually put the bolts in the motor mounts, we were just double checking that those were good. Uh, the body mounts, all in place, so I'm gonna try to line it up here and see if we can get this thing down. 
Yeah, I can see that now. Look me. There she comes. Pretty close on my front corner. Okay. Yeah, I think me too. I might keep shifting this way just a hair, but. I don't know, it's getting pretty close. Clearing the lip, huh? She looks like a truck, man. <sighs> so exciting. Only thing I will say, this truck is massive, actually. Yeah, it is. Because, like, that's kind of where it sits. I'm not saying there's not some more weight going on it, but, like... It's pretty much, yeah. Like, is this yeah. taller than it was? Well, the back's up higher. Yeah. Woo! She's tall. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some long bolts and just see if we got them lined up good enough. So I found another difference here between these two cabs. This is the body mount that the 05 cab uses, and this is the one that the 06 cab mount uses. So, two different sizes. So we got the bolts in after finding out which ones worked, which really, we just need to go get a brand new motor mount, or body mounts. I said it again, uh, <laughs> body mounts, because these ones are a little rough, and they're rougher than kind of what we remembered, but there she is back on her own weight. <laughs> Whew! Never thought this day was going to come. You guys didn't. Admittedly, I didn't, even though I sounded all, you know, cocky in the comments when people, like, questioned me. But, uh, she's back on the frame. So, Captain Lance, what do you think? We, uh, doors. throw the bed on, and then we can throw the doors on? Yeah. It'll look like a real truck. Makeshift put the, uh, front fenders on? No. Do that for right. another video. Keep we them. do need to put the diff in and stuff, keep so probably wait. On. Yeah, keep them. It just keep looks so back. cool. I know. Besides, you gotta like do all this electrical. There, yeah, no, I, I, we can't, we can't really do it yet. Those, we're not gonna put the fenders on. Sorry, guys, Lance said no. All right, let's put the bed on. All right, um, we just lifting that ourselves. Or? Yeah, I think just lift it up. Well, we can use the. It's a sitting on a wagon right now. We can kind of get it into place get it with that, and we burnt the big piece of cardboard that we were using to sit it on before. Um, so that seems stupid now. I'm just gonna throw this steering column, literally just set it in there so that we actually have some steering. This is this guy here is um, Hydro Boost, okay, yeah. and then steering comes through here. All right. So, all right. Um, Can we just lift up and- Yeah, up I got a video, man. That's my job here. Yours is doing all the work. All right, I'll try to guide it out here. Yeah, actually, just go ahead. And, uh, we got a lot of stuff in the way. All right, you got to lift uh, I know, your... I will, but I... There you go. We got it in enough that we can sort of turn it. I don't know. <laughs> we really need... It, this really needs to be stabilized to actually get any turning, but we'll uh, we'll do what we can. So we're going to let this thing roll forward, make it a little easier to put the bed on. How's that in there, muscle man? It's not working, actually. It's going. It? It's, it's moving out here, yeah. But right. probably need to... Uh... I'll tell you what, why don't you get in, Okay. Yeah, get on in. But get in there and steer it, and we'll take a picture because it might be a good thumbnail of you driving. Okay. You see what I'm saying? But you don't want. I don't want to get in and do that. No. Okay. You really got it. I don't like the uh, all the studs. Sharp stuff. Sticking up. It's not how I roll. Now I have. I think we might hit the mini, which would be cool. Okay. I just ripped my pants on one of the studs. Oh, seriously? Yep. All right, turn it as hard as you can. I'm doing it. We're already rolling. We're gonna roll over this stuff. Okay, I'll move it. Just keep going. Yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> you you don't have any brakes. <laughs> there's, there's nothing I can do here. You turn it as hard as you can. I mean, I'm, I'm keeping okay. going. Okay. I thought while it was rolling, it might be easier. It is easier when it's rolling. Okay. All right. Well, we got her where we want her here to uh, throw the bed on, and uh, then we'll throw the doors on too, and it's gonna look like like a truck, man. We're gonna flip this over and uh, put it on the cart that's underneath of it, but the bed will be right side up. I think that makes sense. Um, and that'll make it a little easier to put it on the truck. Got her? Yep. Yeah, you're good. Should we go there? Oh, oh. Wow. Well, bend the corners? Yeah, we're bending the corners. Okay, let's do a little lifting while we do that. Okay. I'll just go ahead and kind of lift it through. How'd they turn out? 
not too bad. Wanna try to set it up on there a little bit? Yeah, I think let's it? just go. Just a little bit. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. Now from there, it's all lifted. It's all lifted. Yep. Yeah, Ready? Okay, let's just set her down for a sec. So I'm hitting on the tire. Okay. All right, let's um, hit the fuel nozzle. Okay. And lift them. Yeah, lift her up. That'd be great. There we go. You okay? Yep. Come on down. Somewhere in there. Should be coming. Right. One, two, three. Needs to come. My way. Your way, but still mine needs to go forward a little bit. Yep. One. Oh Alright, we're almost ready to go for a drive. It's a beefy freaking truck, man. <laughs> it's definitely need to mount the or bring the cab mounts down tighter. Probably when I sit on it. Yeah. See the body line? Yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, it needs to tighten down a little bit. is now completely pouring down um, as soon as we finish this up unfortunately but I guess that's springtime um, and the interior for this is getting soaked so we got to move that inside Lance still had the uh, uh, top down on the mini over there which has been running just fine just so everybody knows um, but we got to put this guy back in the garage It is awesome to see her back in the garage and definitely higher than ever because we have a bigger tire on. I think the other ones we had, I forget when we measured them, but they were like 29 or 30 inch. So definitely, definitely head and dump in the world a little bit. And you can tell we were actually like sitting here debating about why it was so much taller. But I think it's just the tires because the uh, torsion keys are completely down. Uh, back end might be a little bit taller because we took out those um, drop shackles. But... Oh man, our clean garage also is completely cluttered again because we got the cab and lifts and all that stuff in here, but we are gonna get this thing back together and start it up hopefully this week. All right, so that's about wrapped up here for today. We are going to swap this interior coming up very shortly and install the front diff. I think those are my two like biggest things that we gotta do. After that, who knows? We're gonna, we're gonna run into a million things, I'm sure. I'm sure we've lost every bolt. But we'll figure it out. We'll get it done and it will run again someday. Hopefully soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. <laughs>